5.5x return. That's 5.5x on a retargeting. Okay. And 8.79. If you just look at this, it's just this one's website visitors, excluding add to cart 30 day. Then this one is website visitors 60 day. And then anybody who engaged with the Facebook or Instagram ad. And then you can even quite frankly launch another one and then do exclude uh, nothing and just do add to cart seven day and then add to cart eight, uh, 30 day as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. cool. Yeah. So to set up the retargeting, mm -hmm. we'll first click on conversions. And then we're gonna do CBO retargeting. You already have the ones that's for interest. And then switch the daily budget to $10 to start with. Continue. Let me ask you, why do you have CBO turned on there, but when we're testing ads, you have it turned off? Because we're not going to have very many ad sets. Okay. We're only going to have a few, like three. Okay. And there, we're not going to be like turning off um, any of the retargeting. Okay. Unless like the costs are just ridiculously high on one of them, then obviously. But like in most cases, retargeting are all pretty. Um, they, they're even between them and CBO. Since it's very few ad sets, it's going to auto direct spend. Okay. All right, then the conversion event is going to be purchase, not add to cart. Custom audience, create new, custom audience. Website, visitor, 30 day, right? Yeah. Because this is anybody who visited the website in the last 30 days, create audience. Exclude, create new, custom audience, website visitor. Add to cart, 30 day. Create audience. And the reason Why? we're going to exclude that because yeah. we're going to build another audience that does include it. And that's going to allow us to not have to worry about bid overlap. And it forces us to realize like, okay, website visitors is the one that's converting and working, right? It's Got it. Like it out because there's going to be crazy overlap between these. So we're over, we're eliminating any overlap so that way we can increase cost and returns. Because that way you're not paying to reach the same person um, multiple times except for the actual ad sets you want it to do that with. So purely website visitor ad set, purely add to cart ad set, those things, right? Right. And that's where you saw like the 5.5, 8x return and ad spend that I was showing you. And then we don't want any interest or anything like that. We don't want it to expand because it's retargeting. All right, everything else is good. Edit placements, that's fine. Cool, continue. And then the retargeting ad, you can use an existing ad you have, and then you can also create a retargeting ad. I'd recommend doing both. Okay, just to see the difference. Yeah, so like can use one that's already converting. Okay. And then also do one that's like, get 10% off or a 20% off code. Mm -hmm. And then just put that in there and then just do the single image. The single image is fine. Let me ask you another question. Is there a dynamic way to like for kind of Facebook to create its own uh, campaign based on the, like a page view. So like a retargeting campaign with page views. So like, you understand what I'm saying? If like if a customer shopped that on a certain product, yeah, of we course. Would target them for that product specific. Yeah, we can set that up. That's called catalog retargeting. 
isn't that more doesn't that make more sense like as far as conversion wise because they've already seen it they've obviously clicked yeah they, so that's your product catalog but this one's here because in, in most cases you can get a higher return with this because it'll end up over time it's going to end up building up all the social proof and on catalog it's not going to do that for you when you say social proof what do you mean by that likes comments shares i got you yeah what was that post called it was like festival the one that was getting you a yeah it was uh it was in it but it looks like these are from the different campaign what do you mean the different campaign because i have two campaigns remember the i have the i have one campaign with just photos and the other campaign with videos and this looks like all the video posts I don't know if yeah so in this case like you'll just we just need to get an ad out there and then we can delete this one later so i mean this one doesn't even have to be one that you're actually going to use so we'll just save it into draft if it'll allow us okay. so the percentage off plus the conversion one Yeah. So then you'll just duplicate this existing campaign, duplicate. So we can do the one with add to carts. When you, when you just select an existing campaign, why don't you do original campaign? It's the same thing. Okay. Yeah. You would only choose existing. Like if you do existing, then you can select like, a different campaign, but if you do original, it's the same one. It, sometimes okay. it's just a habit that that causes. Okay. Yeah. So either way, we'll still end up coming into this. So this one's just add to cart. Exactly. And then publish. And then you'll do one more, which is going to be the one in with engagements. Then you cover all fronts and then we'll do the product catalog one, which is like actually dynamic. And then this one will be the engagements, which is custom audience. Facebook page, which is the, yep. And then you'll just do like 180 days is fine. Anyone who engaged with the page, anyone who engaged with the ad is more important. Like, with post or ad because you want people to engage with the ad and actually like you retarget those because those can also end up converting same thing for call to action button. So we do all of these just to build up the audience, make it bigger, especially for when you have, you know, not less than a few thousand pixel events. It's, mm -hmm. this, this helps a lot. So this captures all those front end, like you said, like the people who are just like looking, but are, you know, just need a little bit more follow up to purchase. Yeah, exactly. Then you do Facebook page engagements. 180 day. Great audience. Then you create another one for Instagram. Same thing. Got it. Exactly. Just make sure you select the correct ones every time because it's, you know, it's very easy to make a mistake. Yeah. That one says eight space. Yep. By, by the way, which is a friend's company, also women's uh, clothing brand. They, they have zero dollars in sales and they have a seventy thousand dollars in inventory so they have a pretty big inventory and they have zero dollars in sales uh so i told them i'll take over their marketing and see kind of what return i get and um i told them i'll do all the spending but i'm i haven't discussed the percentage to ask for but 
I think I'm going to ask for 30% of uh, gross sales. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, we'll see. Yeah, do it. See what happens. Because then you can launch those. Yeah. All right, look, then you have those engagements. So Facebook and Instagram, yeah. Yeah. Let me just do, just to make it clear. And that's that. And then publish. And then what we can do is we can just rank this by results. And then you can copy. So like you just do this, select these two. And then select copy. And you come to your campaign for retargeting. And you go into the, you just select these three. Paste. And it duplicates them for you. Now they're all in there and it's only the ones that you want. And then you just click these three down here. Oops. Because the, the, this one was just a, one of those yeah, dumb yeah. ads. It wasn't the real one. Delete. And then you just duplicate, you know, another set for those audiences, right? And you do the, like the percentage off offer. Okay. The only thing is, is that um, all that stuff sold out, right? So yeah. So you're gonna have to do the one with the since you sold this out, you're gonna have to do the one with the other product, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So mm -hmm. do that. All right. Now for the catalog, it's pretty similar. You're just gonna create a new campaign, except you'll hit catalog instead. Set this one to five and then we'll do all products. Yep. Continue. And this is just anybody who viewed any product you can do retargeting viewed or added to cart last 14 days. Right. Okay. And so you'll just do copy that because it automatically inputs it for you. And you just put 14 D here. Now keep in mind, this is going to compete against your other one potentially because you're bidding for the same people, right? See what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Which one should I do? Just should I try both or run this one and then try another one? Yeah, I mean, try the first one and I mean, you can do both at the same time, but I mean, like, it'll just raise your cost slightly. But the thing is, you can test the first one, see what the purchases are. Okay. And then you can also launch this one. Also, what's the difference between added to cart but not purchased, but added to cart? Um, this one's including anybody uh, viewed. viewed the product. The got others it, don't it. have viewed. It's just website visitors, which will include this no matter what, and it'll include it. the add to cart and the other one. But got it. this one's in a shorter time frame, so that's better. It's more relevant. And it has very small reach. It only says 20 to 28. So realistically, we should probably taper back the spend up $2.50. And then this is where you'll actually have to put in the custom, the custom like text. So in the text, you just input, select Instagram, then you can do like single image. So that way it only shows them the product they viewed. And then you can say, the retargeting, you can end up writing the retargeting there. Like, hey, we saw you viewed this product. We yeah, like yeah, yeah. blank percentage off. And you can actually put in like, I would have to show you some copy that we're using in another campaign. Yeah, is there a way to make it general? Like, hey, we saw you viewed this product. I guess that's general, but it doesn't seem like, uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean like you can get creative with it, right? Yeah. Just make sure you monitor it. <clears throat> so in this case you could do, 
here. Let me scroll up. Yeah. Like where's the, we just need to, I'm just going to paste something real quick. Oh wait, I can't copy from my screen and paste from your screen. So I'll have to type it if I'm going to do that. Paste it to Facebook and we can just copy it again. It would just be, here's an example I'll give you. Because this is personal, because obviously they viewed it. And then you just do product name. But you haven't finished. You could do, did something go wrong? Or you could also do, let us help you with extra. Use code. Yeah, I have the code right here. Yeah, there you go. Then you just use code and you send them to that unique page okay. and boom. Like, there you go. You have a retargeting ad. Got it. And you can also copy this and just remove the product name and then use that. Hey, you viewed. Hey, we saw you yeah, visit yeah. our website, but you haven't finished checking out. Boom. And then, so if I use the carousel, I saw this option. When you use the catalog, we'll show different formats to create different uh, people based on what they, they're most likely to respond to. You think this is beneficial? Yeah, you can do that. Uh, because it's just going to show a bunch of different variations and since it can't get engagements anyway, so it's fine. Okay. All right. I guess I need to run this and see. Um, let me ask you though, just generally what, what made you decide that it was the right time to do retargeting? Um, because I know you want to have a limit, you know, a certain amount of you know, certain size audience. What's, you know, what do you look for when deciding that? Yeah. In those cases, I mean, like ideally you're going to need a hundred or more just to make sense of spending money on it. Right. But the thing is you can start really low <laughs> the budget. It doesn't have to be extremely high. You can do it at $2 and 50 cents daily and it'll still cover ground. I mean, if you get a purchase, it's always going to be worth it. For sure. The margin's so high that it, exactly. it's, yeah. it's phenomenal. That's why I was thinking it doesn't make sense not to run retargeting because all the people that you're spending the money on, you're exactly. losing them. Yeah. So launch it. Yeah. All right. Cool. I'm going to launch. I'll keep you posted. Cool. Awesome. Thank you. No problem.